Well done, Crater. Thank you, sir. Smart handling of communications, fast action, immediate response are marks of an efficient ship. A ship is judged by these standards, as it is by how well it keeps station, by the skill of its maneuvering. These are the things the Commodore or the Admiral will notice and remember. Right standard rudder, steady course 231. Right standard rudder, aye, sir. My rudder's right standard, coming to new course 231, sir. Very well. As communications officer, Ensign Elliott sees every message addressed to the ship, and every message transmitted from it. It's one of the ways he ensures the quality of his division's work. One of the ways he makes sure that on his ship, communication is the voice of command. Excuse me, Captain, message board. Don, what time does the Commodore have a schedule for flag hoist drill? Sometime this afternoon, sir. I'll find out the exact time. Schedule for 1400. Make sure your people are ready. All right, sir, and I'll be there myself. Many old seafaring traditions still survive in the modern Navy. And that's nowhere more true than in the wardroom. Who eats at which sitting? Who eats where? When you start and when you may leave. It's all prescribed by tradition. On the aircraft carrier, Jeff Carter may sit down at each meal with an entirely new group. With some 400 officers on board, sheer numbers and variations in duty hours make a few of the old traditions impractical. All kinds of people to meet. Jet pilots, language experts, intelligence officers, What's and who have been stationed like? in exotic places. Great families. And of course, it depends on whether you want to take the scenic route or the pleasure route. Pleasure route sounds interesting. That's uh, a good route. Good route. That's <laughs> good. Coffee, sir. Oh, no, thank you. Excuse me, I have to go on watch. As a junior officer in communications, Jeff Carter is a watch stander. He's not always available for after hours activities. For the next four hours, Ensign Carter will be in charge of an incredible array of equipment and a highly skilled team of some 30 men. Afternoon, Doc. Hi, Jeff. I'm ready to leave you. Okay, let me fill you in on the watch. Relieving the watch follows a ritual. Who are we terminated with? Jeff We're Carter has to absorb a myriad of details before he assumes the duties as Communications Watch Officer, or CWO. Because of that, we've got a backlog of one immediate... The main job of a CWO is to keep communications flowing. And it's not as simple as it may sound. There are hundreds of equipment items to worry about. Thousands of knobs for patching signals around the radio spaces and to other parts of the ship. And just one of them set wrong can lead to havoc. Messages churn through here at rates as high as one or two every minute, nonstop. Not just traffic for the ship, but for the air group as well. And even more important, for the Admiral and his staff. That's the status of communications at this time. I'm ready to turn the watch over to you unless you have any further questions. No, I believe you. Okay, have a good watch. Thank you. The job of communications watch officer is unique among the junior officers aboard ship. All the message traffic for everyone aboard passes across this desk. From it, Jeff Carter and the other CWOs get to understand the big picture. They know what's going on and why. They know how the changing world situation affects the task force, the fleet, and the nation. It's one of the things that brings a great sense of contribution to this job. So we just got a top secret message, and it's a personal message to the admiral. OK, thank you. Some messages require special handling. They have to be decrypted separately in the crypto room, where only the watch officer and a few selected personnel may enter. And this one will have to be delivered to the Admiral personally by Ensign Carter.
you can start it. Yes, Chief. That destroyer is still having broadcast problems. We have to maintain their guard. All right, Chief. We'll keep their guard. Send anything for them on TGO. I'll check with Warren Officer Everhart and see if we can send Petty Officer Luma over in the morning. Give him a hand. Okay, the problems they are having right now is crypto problems. Crypto? Okay, Luma would be the one for that. Then. Thank you very much. Besides the responsibility for his own ship, the communications watch officer on a flagship also shares the communications responsibility for the entire task force. General Quarters, General Quarters, all hands man your battle stations. Now this is a drill, this is a drill. General Quarters, all hands man your battle stations. Aboard the DE, Ensign Don Elliott's GQ station is in the pilot house. Here he exercises his prime responsibility, tactical communications aboard his ship. Messages may come by blinker, on flag hoists, or over voice radio. Lakewood, this is Golden Warrior. Immediate execute. Romeo Uniform 2, TAC 3-4. I say again, Romeo Uniform 2, TAC 3-4. Stand by. Execute. Over. This is Lakewood. Roger out. The communications officer consults his signal book to interpret the message, then relays it to the commanding officer. Yes, I break the last signal from the OTC to read. Exercise the surface gunnery. Very well. CIC concurs. Close up Bravo. Starboard side. Close up Bravo. Starboard side. Jeff Carter's GQ station is the signal bridge. He supervises the passing of flag signals to the entire task force. Signal bridge gone. Put up in all ships, signal by flag hoist. Echo, X-ray, two, tack, two, five, X-ray. Signal bridge, aye. Signalman, port and starboard wing. Stand by your bags. Voice the following signal close up. Pen 2, Delta, Tech, Echo, X ray, 2, Tech, 2, 5, X ray. Assignment as a communications officer means a rare opportunity to demonstrate the qualities demanded of an officer and to do it in full view of your superior. The opportunity is there on every type of ship. The work may vary. The responsibilities will differ. But communications are always vital in this modern Navy. Whether you're the only communications officer aboard or serving as part of an officer team, Hi, Jeff. a communications you know. assignment will put you a step ahead in your career. On the small ship, you'll have more responsibility than most people take on in a lifetime. You'll have variety, too. Good job, creator. Thanks, and a chance sir. to prove yourself in a demanding situation. On the larger vessel, you also have your share of responsibility, and you'll learn to work as part of a team. You'll take full charge of one phase of communications, probably affecting an entire task force. It always pays to be close to the top, and communication is the voice of command. <laughs>